What's up? It's your favorite mama. It's Fit Mama, and I'm here to walk you through how to travel with a baby. This is Milo's first flight, and I'm going to take you with me. So if you like learning new things, subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. All right, let's start traveling. So the first part of traveling, and my least favorite, to be honest, is packing. So what to pack? We are going to be gone for two nights, two days. We're flying out Friday night. We will get in at 9 p.m., go straight to our hotel, go to bed. We have all day Saturday to hang out, and we are out of there bright and early Sunday morning at 6.30 a.m. So it's a very short trip, but the hardest part about traveling with a baby is all the stuff. So I try and minimize it. We have done lots of travels with my older two. I am a mom of three. I have a four year old, a two year old, and a seven month old. So I'm gonna show you what I'm bringing for Mr. Milo. I always pack a hooded towel. So he's big enough, he sits in the bath all by himself, so I'm gonna bathe him. But it's just a little bit of comfort, it's a little bit easier. So I always pack a hooded towel along with my own baby wash. I personally will just use what the hotel has. I'm using the Arbonne Baby Care for Milo. Um, I will be checking a bag if you're doing a carry-on. Obviously put that into a TSA approved size. He will be traveling in his pajamas. One of the best tips is to try and book your flight around either their nap time or their bedtime. So our flight tonight is at 6.30 p.m. Milo normally goes to sleep around 7, so I'll nurse him. This is a short flight, only an hour and a half, but I'm hoping he'll fall asleep. I'm gonna put him in his pajamas, and that's it. And so hopefully we don't have to change. I'll show you what's in my diaper bag after I show you what's going on in the suitcase, but I will be packing two pairs of pajamas because you never know you know if he's gonna pee through the night so i got the towel his bath towel i have two pairs of pajamas and then this is his travel home outfit it's just a one onesie um easy peasy right and now he'll really only need an outfit for saturday so i packed him an outfit a uh, long sleeve onesie. I check the weather before you go so you can pack appropriately. But you never know, spit ups, we're doing baby led weaning. So depending on how messy he is eating, you never know when that poop is happening. Um, so we have the one go-to outfit and I'm packing two extras. You never know what's gonna happen. So kind of three outfits for that one day. It might be overboard, but it's better to be prepared than not prepared. I've got the diapers. Um, again, it's really only, what, 36 hours, if that. So I'm packing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine diapers. And I will also have additional diapers in the diaper bag. I'm packing a full container of wipes because these come in handy for a lot of different things, wiping the face, wiping the booty. So I got the full wipes. Um, it's gonna be a little bit chilly, so I'm packing one sweatshirt, one hat, his Christmas hat, and then I have three pairs of socks, and I have two bibs for meal time. So I've got that. That is what I will be packing in my suitcase that I'm checking for Mr. Milo. So next up, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna bring in my diaper bag for the airplane ride. Mwah. Okay. Diaper bag time! What should I bring on the plane to entertain a seven-month-old? 
hopefully you know the stars align and he sleeps the whole flight i will nurse him at takeoff goal is he sleeps smooth sailing but you have to be prepared because as a mom you know it's not always smooth sailing so first i'm going to start with my favorite diaper bag of all time i have three kids i've cycled through a lot of diaper bags this baby is a keeper. I got this um, after Olive was born and I love it. It's Fawn Design. It's a backpack, but it also has the side stripe. Um, Milo is really into standing and will probably be walking very shortly. Uh, <laughs> let's hope not. Um, that was a joke. He's only seven and a half months. Okay, so diaper bag, fawn design, love it. Vegan, vegan leather. Um, and it started by like a mom. So you gotta support those those mom businesses. Okay, the obvious, we have diapers. I'm just packing three for display. Um, some wipes. I'm gonna put them down hand sanitizer at all times. I think I have two in here along with some black that I just always keep in here on hand. Okay, the next thing that I really, really love is, and that I pack at all times, is a wet bag. So you can keep dirty clothes if there is a poop explosion, if there's a massive spit up, if there's, you know, really messy eating, I can strip down his clothes, put it in the wet bag and be done with it so I don't have to think about it. I got the boogie wipes, just gentle on the face to wash. You have, or I'm packing two extra outfits. You never know, you gotta be prepared for these things. I've had smooth sailing and I've had where we've circled through all the outfits I've packed. So you never know. This is my nursing cover. Again, I've cycled through a lot. This is my personal favorite. It's a scarf style. So, you know, you can just wear it and be all cool and stylish. And then um, it's super, super soft, but it provides great coverage. And then you can also use it as a blanket. Um, so I'm a big fan of this nursing scarf. Okay, we have two burp cloths. Milo is past the stage of spitting up every time he nurses, um, but that's not to say it never happens. So we have him. We have one bib in case he wants a snack in the airport. I'm packing his sun hat here. So I have his winter hat. I'll have a sun hat. We are going to Arizona, so um, you might need me some sun protection. Yeah. Okay, Hi. one pair of socks that he never keeps on anyway. This is for the entertainment. Again, the hope is he sleeps. If he doesn't sleep, we got some, some stuff for him. These are his two favorite personal chew toys. The little banana toothbrush, baby banana. And this is Como Tomo. He really, really likes this one, I think, because it's super easy to hold. There's different textures on each poke. So two chew toys for him. Again, these are textures. Everything is going in this kid's mouth. He's seven and a half months. A little jingly thing. I like this because you can strap it on to different items. So we will have that. A little rattle, how many little toys does the baby need? And then books. At this age, he really, really enjoys books where he's looking at other babies' faces. So we have a couple different ones. Right now, this is his favorite. I really like Global Babies is the title of one, and it's babies from all over the world. And a clever title, it's called My Facebook. It's a baby book. It's just faces of babies. My Facebook. <laughs> so funny these days and then these are fun because this will also be good stuff for the hotel room um textures crunching yeah you like that are you cleaning your teeth yeah 
50 if you don't have. So, diaper bag, voila, we got that. He will be wearing PJs onto the flight. The hope is he sleeps, right? So I'm gonna walk you through everything. I will be bringing a car seat, we'll Uber, and then we'll have my sister's car. So if you do have like an all-in-one, the stroller connects to the car seat, that is what I highly recommend. That's how I'll be traveling. I will walk you through it all. You can take that right up to the gate of the airplane and gate check it. I have a red gate check bag. I will also show you that. It's very cheap on Amazon. You just put the car seat in there. If I wasn't gonna be with him the whole time or if it was a longer flight, I usually bring my uh, breast pump. I can put that in. So kind of anything you don't actually need on the flight, you can throw into that gate check bag, um, but that you would need in the airport. We're gonna check our one luggage. This will be my one carry-on. I will gate check the car seat and the stroller right before we board the plane. And she'll be smooth sailing. If you are staying in a hotel, you can call the hotel ahead of time and most everyone I've seen in, they have pack and plays that you can use. Milo, he's just gonna sleep with me in the hotel bed. Yeah, that's why my husband's having me bring him. My husband will be watching the other two. But you're coming for the party. So tell me, what are your favorite must-haves for your diaper bag? What's your favorite plain accessory besides the baby? Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> In addition to what I have in the diaper bag, I will be bringing my wallet that has my ID and to travel with a lap infant, you should bring either a copy of their birth certificate or a paper that you received from the hospital right after their birth, just in case. I have flown a lot with my older two and I've only been asked for that paper one time but it's always better to have it than not have it and not be able to get on, so, right? So we went through what is in my suitcase, what is in my diaper bag, and now I'm gonna show you my preferred way to get through the airport. And if you have a child in a car seat and you're planning to Uber, rent a car, or have a friend drive you around, you'll need a car seat. So Milo still fits in the infant car seat, which makes life easier. So this is my setup. I'm gonna check one bag, and this is what I'm gonna push through the airport all the way to the gate. You can check a infant car seat and a stroller gate check for free. So obviously Milo will be in the seat and then this seat just pops right out. I can pop it in the Uber, I can pop it in a rental car. That's done. This is the my one baby. bag. This will be my, my carry-on for the airplane, the diaper bag you see. You will also, I would recommend the uh, baby carrier. This makes things easier. So once I take Milo out of the stroller, I will strap him on and I have my diaper bag. And then the last thing I would recommend investing in for airplane travel is a gate check bag. And this is really simple. It's just a big bag that you will put the infant car seat in at the gate. And if you have any other accessories or toys in the bottom of your stroller that you don't need on the actual airplane, you can throw them in that seat. You put the whole seat in this bag and they'll give you a gate check tag. So you put one tag on the bag, the gate check bag, and one tag on your stroller. I'll fold up this stroller. This is the Appa Baby Vista, which I love because it can carry all three of my kids. You can put one seat here, one seat there, and you have this skateboard that has the big basket. So if you're looking for a stroller that fits through, and then I'll just fold it up uh, to go through security. All of this does have to go through the x-ray machine. So, just become familiar with your stroller before you get there. Um, these wheels, these big wheels, they just pop off. 
and you have to take them off for it to fit through the x-ray machine if you bring any milk or formula that is a-okay there's no ounce limit in the airport for that they put it in these special machines and you can do that so the next thing we will be taking an uber to the airport so we'll see how that goes and then um you're gonna come through the airport with me Bye. Oh